Bonsoir mes amis, good evening guys, welcome to Uptick After Dark. I speak this way because my kids are sleeping next door, but I can't wait until the morning to share with you my experience in hand with the new Breitling chronographs. Yes, you can still buy watches straight from a store. What a novelty idea, I was so happy to see them right there in the window and I could choose which ones I wanted to see and for me it was really all about the Datora or Datora full calendar chronograph and the split second. Let's start there. This is the steel version blue dial, very nice, around 10,000 US, 15 millimeters of thickness, 42 millimeter diameter. It wears okay on my 17 centimeter wrist, about six and three quarter inches. This is the one I really wanted to see with the black dial on rose gold. Reminds me of the longer honey gold. Of course, the price is a fraction of the, the longer, but it comes with some compromises. However, how many split seconds chronographs do you know at a price point of 10,000 in steel, 20,000 in gold? The actuation has a nice clock to it on all three buttons. So you have a button in the crown to activate the split function, which is very, very smooth. So the caliber is based on the B01 evolu evolution to the B03, and it's called a B15. While here for the full calendar version, the base is actually a Valjoux 77. 50, if I'm not mistaken, reworked by a company called Concepto, which also worked on improving the whole caliber and adding the calendar complication. There's only one little pusher in the lovely case with those nice side striations. Uh, the rest is commanded by the crown only, the moon phase, the date, which is really great because it's always a bit of a drag to have to push those tiny little pushers on the side and risking damaging your beautiful watch. So it's also around 15 millimeters of thickness and is the extra uh, compromise the, that you have to do uh, for the, the price point. Uh, um, now let's talk about a bit uh, of the, the price there. The, uh, the calendar version is around 12,000. The problem that I have with that is that I have a 38 millimeters high beat chronograph with full calendar from Zenith and I paid only 3000 for it. Uh, however, in the case of the split second, there's nothing in my collection and uh, I don't think there's anything in the market really that competes with it. And it is, uh, it, it is well made and really reminds me of this honey gold longer, uh, which is so much more expensive. Uh, it's only 12 millimeters of thickness, of course, high horology, amazing, beautiful finishing in the movement. You don't get that with the Breitlings, uh, quite obviously at this price point. Uh, so it's a bit up to you. Do you want to look at your still very expensive watch and always think that you have a cheap version of the one you, you really want? Or are you okay with the, the compromise? Uh, in the case of the Patek, uh, the, the, the copper dial here is obviously a reminder of the Simon dial 50 to 70 P Platinum, the top of the range of Patek gorgeous watch, which is not small either, but obviously has amazing, amazingly finished movement. Um, I don't know, I'm, I'm on the fence and I'm sure all the collectors as well, we all love this copper or salmon dial. We all love this, uh, this rose gold split second chronograph here, but there's a little compromise in terms of the, of the sizing, uh, to do and, you know, compromise with yourself. Are you okay to go with the cheaper option? Typically those high complications type of watches. Uh, come with an amazing finish and uh, only in precious metals and only made by the uh, the very best of the the best uh, the holy trinity and the longers and, and, and such but there's no doubt that uh, this watch here looks absolutely amazing this is the one i really wanted to see and 
I don't know. I don't know. The, 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 the thickness is uh, it's just a byproduct of how it is made. Now, another problem I have with buying Breitling is that you're really just giving money to a CVC, a private equity uh, investment fund, which owns dozens of different d- different companies of all sorts. I think they they own uh, the rugby, uh, rugby league. They own, I think, the Formula One uh, as well. Healthcare companies doesn't really inspire me as much as when I buy a Patek or or, or longer, well, as if I could afford those uh, those grand complications. But yeah, it it is not for me working in finance. I, I, when I look at my watch, I don't want to think that I've given money to uh, in, into a, a fund in which I'm not participating. Now, maybe if I was investing in the CVC, I would feel a bit uh, better about it. Uh, but anyway, let me know in the comments what you think about those watches. Uh, still, big thank you to Breitling, uh, Steve there at the boutique for showing me, taking time for showing me the watches because they're exactly the, the way I thought they would be uh, on the wrist. And it was very exciting for me, really. You know, I wasn't feeling too good uh, this evening. And just when I saw those watches, I forgot all my little belly troubles and uh, my fatigue and I was really pumped to be able to share this uh, with you. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to sleep all, all too well because I, I'm, I'm really tempted. Uh, I think the rose gold, it's a bit of a stretch, but the uh, copper dial, the Etora is really right up my alley. There is competition in my watch box, as I said, with my Zenith. So that's one thing. And yeah, the the price point, I wish at a price point you would get an integrated chronograph caliber, or at least at the base would be the B01 and not a, uh, a value, I have to be honest there. All right, thank you for watching. Put the comments below. Let me know what you think about those very cool watches. Bye-bye, guys.